Now, if you look at this from an Islamic perspective, when we talk about anything related to mind, body, soul, we're talking about a holistic way of approaching children and raising them. So what I mean by that, a couple of things. One is what I'm going to present next is very much um, when we talk about uh, a holistic understanding. Yes, there are physical milestones that we talk about in raising children. There are cognitive milestones, but there are also emotional milestones that many people, even well-meaning, well-educated people miss altogether in working with children and raising them, teaching them, nurturing them. And then there's this fourth category that, I mean, if emotional gets missed, then this fourth one really gets missed all the time, which is spiritual milestones. So when we talk about holistic and this kind of interlocking understanding of how you nurture or raise a child, if all four aspects aren't addressed, then we're missing the boat. We really are. There is something off. We can be pushing our children towards academic ihsan or excellence. We can be pushing them towards physical excellence and kind of raising the next generation of NBA and NFL players, right? which some children, some parents, that's kind of their focus, right? They want the next, you know, um, <laughs> big player. But we're missing emotional milestones of tuning in and understanding what is age appropriate per stage, even in this tech world that we're finding ourselves in. And even in this moment of immense global trauma, um, how do you tune in emotionally to the child in front of you based on their age, age appropriate to really help them and aid them? 